Guys, I got a video here for you. This is for you guys. It's got a Tech 2 scanner. Uh, if you don't know what the Tech 2 scanner is, it's a scanner that uh, the dealership uses. It's the same thing they're going to use at General Motors. All right. As you may know, this scanner comes with a RS-232 port. Okay. You know, it came out back in 92, 93. They're about somewhere in there. Nowadays, uh, if you're going to get a computer, say a laptop, it ain't going to come with no serial port. So now you're going to be, now you're going to be struggling to find a USB serial adapter that's going to make this thing work. And I can tell you from experience, for the last three days, this has been a pain in the ass to try to make this thing work. You can't just buy any USB serial adapter. I've, I've got one. I got it off of eBay, Tech2 Scanner, you, you know, you... Uh, Tech 2, uh, to work for the Tech 2 scanner, USB to serial port, 60 bucks. Okay, come in, put it on, driver, everything looks good, connect it up. Okay, it recognizes it, I'll set it up, COM1, 115, 200 baud rate, 8 uh, data bits, blah, blah, blah. Then I go on to test the web, and I'll make a test connection to see if it'll work, right off the bat. Boom, fail, connection fail. Oh, I said, son of a bitch. All right, so then I go to the wife's computer. What? Yeah, that's right. I went, my, to, I went to your computer. I will talk about that. My computer is a Windows 7 Pro 64-bit, so I said, okay, let's go to a different operating system and a different bit version. So hers is a Vista 32-bit. I put on the driver. Everything went fine. Okay, plugged it in. It found the hardware. It's happy. I go to Tis to Web to uh, download the diagnostic software. I do my test connection, I click on the button, connection fail. So oh. I'll be damned. So for here, going around and around, trying to get this thing to work. So I got to thinking, I said, you know, we got PLCs at work. They use RS-232 port. Now our, our laptops at work where we have the PLC software, we got a USB to serial adapter. I said, hell, maybe that'll work. So I bring this thing home from work, this uh, adapter from work. I put the driver on, of course I took all the other driver, you know, took it off. And I put this here driver on, plugged it up, go to test the web, I clicked on the test button and right off the bat it was happy and it made a connection. Now as you can see right now, I'm downloading the latest uh, diagnostic software for it and uh, looks like it's got about another 15 minutes there about before this thing will be done. But anyway, I thought I would share that, guys, with you. I will put a link in here for this here USB to serial adapter. I'm sure that some of you out there that's bought adapters, you could not get this thing to work. And uh, so I'm just showing you that this one does work. Right off the bat, it works. So uh, I'll put the link in there in the description. So if you, and it's 30 bucks, right? 30 bucks. Can't beat that at all. So anyway... You guys take care, and I appreciate you watching the video.